Oh hey, it's uh, Thumbnail Danny here. I'm curious, what stage of life are you in with college? Did you go to college? Did you not go to college? Did you graduate? Are you thinking about going to college? Comment below so I know who's watching this video because I think that could kind of be cool to see. Anyway, with that said, let's get on with the video. Okay, listen up. I am not against college. I have a bachelor's degree in business administration and then like a focus in digital marketing and advertising. I did it, okay? I, I had the college experience. And don't get me wrong, some things are great, some things are fun, but I think it certainly has some issues. Also, before I get any comments on this, yes, I have a huge zit on my neck, okay? Don't need to point it out. And this video is a discussion. So if you agree, if you don't agree, let me know. Let's talk about it and you know, we'll see what we all think together. Okay, so here are the issues I noticed during my time at college. Okay, so one of the first things I noticed is that in college, it's super easy to bump into people and make friends. Okay, well maybe not super easy, but it's a lot easier than it is in the real world. And this brings us to my first problem, which is college probably won't actually give you good social skills. College kids often think they have good social skills because they're around people all the time and they think, man, look at all these friends I made. I must have good social skills. But let me tell you, I cannot stress enough how many of my friends graduated in like the general consensus. The biggest complaint is, oh my gosh, making friends in the real world is so much harder. So here's why that happens. Friendships are accelerated by mutual interests, having something in common. So it's super easy to make friends at college because literally everyone is one, the same age, but everyone's going through the same thing. You can pretty much walk up to anyone and say, dude, this class is killing me. And they're gonna say, dude, me too. But in the real world, finding similarities with strangers is actually a lot harder. So, do you like tuna? Ew, gross. In college, you're pretty much tossed into a very large group of people who are all going through the exact same season of life. So finding similarities is almost effortless. So while you may feel like a social butterfly and like you are killing the social game at college, I found often that those social skills don't translate to the real world. Okay, the next issue I have is that the knowledge your degree gave you in college probably won't really help you with your actual job. Okay, so I found in college that the university will like really hype up everything they're teaching you and be like, hey, you're gonna need to know this. This right here is really important, but it's just usually not. And I'm all for learning, but here's the thing. Pretty much every single job, any job you could apply for is going to have on the job training, which basically means that job already has a way that they want you to do everything that's gonna happen in your day-to-day -day workflow. So most people end up spending four years in college and they're like, yes, these skills I'm learning, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dominate the field that I'm gonna try to enter. And then they enter the field and realize that that job has a specific way that they wanna teach them to do the job and it has nothing to do with the degree. You might have learned so much in your business degree and that's great. But when you get the job, it's not gonna help you with the specific way that they want you to send emails. Okay, the third issue that I have with the college experience is the insane pressure to find your significant other before you graduate. It is actually ridiculous, but not for the reason that you think. Yes, it is ridiculous in the fact that you will have so much pressure to date someone and find someone because all your friends will be doing it, your parents will be calling you and they'll be saying, Hey, did you, did you, did you meet anyone special today? The true nature, okay? The true nature of how ridiculous this is, is the fact that most people don't meet their person in college. Let me further explain. In 2021, the average age of a woman getting married was 33, while the average age of the man getting married was 35. So unless the average couple is meeting in college and then dating for over 10 years and then getting married, which I doubt is happening, then why on earth do we have so much pressure to find someone in college? That makes no sense because most people don't even find that person in college. So that pressure shouldn't exist, okay? It is unwarranted. Okay, my fourth and final gripe with the college experience and just what you're sold in college is that you will probably not even work in the field that you study for four years. A study from Next Gen Personal Finance found that only 27% of graduates are working in the field that they studied in. So this means that 73% of people who went to college and got in debt for their specific degree that they thought they were gonna use for the rest of their lives aren't even using it. Okay, now listen, I don't want this video to come across as me hating on college because I genuinely did enjoy a lot of my time in college. But I think you need to be aware of what you're getting into when you start attending a college or a university because what you are experiencing is really not reality. It's a good time, hopefully, uh, but it's not reality. But on the bright side, whether you had a good experience at college or a bad one, 
I'm sure there's something that you were able to learn from it. Similarly to how I learned a lot when a guy tried to kidnap me when I was a kid, and I'll link that video right here because I think you want to check that one out. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Did you like click that video yet? You should click it. That's a good video.